Hello class, welcome back. Today we're talking about surface area. This is our second lesson of Unit 10. Let's begin by reviewing your homework. Let's take a look at the first one, a cube. You know that a cube has all the same sides. So draw out your, your net. Your net should have, have six sides. And if all the dimensions are the same, you have eight by eight. So eight times eight is 64. So all six sides will equal 64. So 64 times six will give you 384 inches squared. The next one, the rectangular prism has six sides. So first draw out your net and write down your dimensions for each one. You calculate it out, you add them all together, and your answer should be 108 centimeters squared. For the third one, you have a triangular prism. A triangular prism, look at the net, it has five sides. It has three rectangles and two triangles. So your area for the rectangles are 84, 48, 84, and your area for the triangles are 12 and 12. Add them all together, your answer should be 240 centimeters squared. The fourth one, the square base pyramid. First look at the square base. Five times five is 25, and then each of the triangles will be 10. You add them all together, your answer should be 65 inches squared. And the last one, the inside triangle is 27.712, and then the outside triangles are each 48 meters squared. So if you add them all together, your answer should be 171.712 meters squared. So when we're talking about surface area, think about a box of Cheerios. The outside, the box itself, is what we call the surface area. So if you cut it down the side and lay it flat, you will see the net of the Cheerio box. And this is what we call the surface area. So you have to take apart each rectangle, find the area of each rectangle, add them all together, and that's your surface area. Now the volume would be the Cheerios that are inside the box. At this time, please take out your Exploring 3D Rectangular Prisms and your Pop Cubes. I would like for you to take your Pop Cubes and create this rectangular prism. Make sure it's a 4 by 2 by 6. Go ahead, pause the video while you create this with your Pop Cubes. When you're ready to begin, press play. Karen bought the same gift for all of her siblings. She put their gifts in a box that looks like the box below. Help her figure out how much wrapping paper it would take to wrap the box. Surface area is talking about wrapping paper. So let's begin by solving the surface area of the problem. So let's look at the front of your rectangular prism. Let's sketch it out. It is a four by two. So the dimensions are four centimeters by two centimeters. And so your area, you go length times width, four times two is eight centimeters squared. And if your front is a four by two, the back will be also be a four by two. So draw it out. It's a four by two. The dimensions are four centimeters by two centimeters. And so your area will be eight centimeters squared. Now remember, if I'm working on this, you should be working on this and filling out the paper the same way I am. The next one, let's look at the left side. Let's sketch out the left side. The left side is a six by two. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the dimensions are six centimeters by two centimeters. 
the area is length times width, 6 times 2, which equals 12 centimeters squared. And if the left side is a 6 by 2, the right side will be a 6 by 2. So sketch it out. 6 by 2. Write down your dimensions. 6 centimeters by 2 centimeters. And the area will be 12 centimeters squared. Now the last two, let's look at the top and the bottom. The top and the bottom are the same as well. Your top is a 6 by 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So write down your dimensions. 4 centimeters by 6 centimeters. Your area is length times width. So you go 4 times 6, which equals 24 centimeters squared. Now the top is 24 centimeters. The bottom will be the same. So draw out your sketch. And it's 4 by 6. Your dimensions, again, will be 4 centimeters by 6 centimeters. And so your area will be 24 centimeters squared. Now to find the total surface area, you have to add up the sums of all of your areas. So we have six sides to this rectangular um, prism, so make sure you add 8 centimeters plus 8 centimeters plus 12 centimeters plus 12 centimeters plus 24 centimeters plus 24 centimeters. So your total surface area is 88 centimeters squared. Okay, now let's turn to the next page. It says, using the figure below, draw a net of the rectangular prism and label the dimensions of each face. So we can just draw a net by going the top, here's the top, now the dimensions of the top is 4 inches, and the side here is 6 inches. We're going to use length times width, which is 4 times 6, which equals 24 inches squared. Now if you know the top is 24 inches squared, you know the bottom is going to be the same. It's a 4 by 6, so 4 times 6 is equal to 24 inches squared. Now the left side here, here's the left, that's a little wider, it's going to be 6 inches and the length here is 18. Now remember, you can use a calculator for this. So we're going to use length times width. So it's 6 times 18. And 6 times 18 is 108 inches squared. Now if you know the left, you will know the right. They're both the same. It's going to be a 6 by 18. So again, this is going to be 108 inches squared. And now for the front, right here. It's going to be a 4 by 18. It's going to be long and narrow. A 4 by 18. Again, you're going to do length times width. So 4 times 18 is 72 inches squared. And the back is the same as the front. It's going to be a 4 by 18. So again, it's going to be 72 inches squared. Now to find our surface area, you add all six sides, and that's going to give you your surface area. So at this time, please pause the video while you complete that. When you're ready to check your answers, press play. 
so your total surface area is 408 inches squared. At this time, I would like for you to try this example on your own, draw a net for the rectangular prism, label the dimensions of each face, and calculate the surface area. Please pause the video while you complete this. When you're ready to check your answer, press play. And this is what your paper should look like. You should have each of the sides written out, and your total surface area is 158 inches squared. Now let's review what a triangular prism looks like. A triangular prism consists of five sides. It consists of three rectangles and two triangles. And this is what a triangular prism looks like. Now please turn to exploring three-dimensional triangular prisms. For this one, you're going to help figure out how much wrapping paper it would take to wrap the box. It says draw a net of the prism below and label the dimensions on each face. So right now, right here, I want you to draw a net for this triangular prism and label the dimensions. Please pause the video while you complete this. When you're ready to check your answer, press play. And this is what your net should look like. Remember, this side is 6, and it's going to be the same as the side of the rectangle here. Um, because once you fold up your net, it has to touch, and so that's why this side is going to be equal to this side. Now I'd like for you to draw out each of the sides of this triangular prism. Calculate the area of each side. And I want you to um, determine the surface area of this triangular prism. So at this time, please pause the video while you complete this. When you're ready to check your answers, press play. And here's the answer for the triangular prism. You should have gotten 221.5 millimeters squared. Remember, the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. So each of the triangle, the area for this triangle should be 15.75 millimeters squared. And then um, one rectangle should be 60, another one should be 60, and the last one should be 70. Now at this time, I would like for you to try these two examples below. You first need to draw out the net and label the dimensions of each face and then calculate the surface area. So you should be showing a lot of work here. So you cannot do this in your head. I must see all of your nets drawn out, and then I want you to calculate the surface area of each side and then add them all together. So please pause the video while you complete this. When you're ready, check your answer, press play. Now the answer for the first one should be 480 millimeters squared. The answer for the second one is 540 feet squared. If you did not get the same answer as I did, please go back and check your work to see where you made your mistakes. Now at this time, please turn to the next page in your packet. We're talking about right square pyramids or square base pyramids. For this, you need to draw out your net. As you can see, it is a square base. It has five total sides, a square for the base, and then you have four triangles for the sides. Now at this time, I would like for you to calculate the faces, all five faces, and then add the areas together to find the total surface area. Please pause the video while you complete this. When you're ready to check your answer, press play. Now your total surface area for this should be 540 centimeters squared. Your slant height is what we use for calculating the surface area. It is the height of this triangle on the outside. So please pause the video, check your answers. When you're ready to move on, press play. Now at this time you need to practice these three practice problems. Please pause the video while you complete this on your own. When you're ready, check your answer, press play. And here are the answers for the three practice problems. Please pause the video while you check over your answers. When you're ready to move on, press play. For homework tonight, you need to complete the surface area homework sheet. Have a great day.